So I heard that you want to make MT and you want to learn how to snipe in 2K18 and this video right here is going to give you one of the best tips you can find out about in the beginning of 2K18 and really quickly before we get to that part, I do want to give a big shout out to Maximus to the Max for being the first comment in the last video and you are now entered in the giveaway and he said that he likes the new auction house which I really like, I like it. But at the same time, I dislike it, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But shout out to Max for being the first comment. And the question for today's video is going to be, let me know down in the comments below, what is your favorite card to play with in NBA 2K18 right now? So let me know down below. And now let's get right into the video. Now, if you guys don't know, in my last video, in the auction house video, on how to unlock it, by the way, go watch it if you don't know how to unlock the auction house. But once you unlock the auction house after watching that video, in case you guys didn't know, the auction house does refresh after every time you put in a filter. So for example, I'll do small forward 500, I'll press, uh, you know, search, and then we'll see some small forwards, and then I'll press circle, and then it refreshes. So that right there takes a little bit of time to really snipe, and it's a lot harder to snipe this year. However, though, we do have a live auction, so that makes things a little bit easier, but again, you know, the filter does reset after every single refresh. And while I was streaming last night, by the way, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash carlosstory, we did find out a new way to snipe. Now, for example, I really want to get a Kevin Durant for super cheap, so I was doing Durant, and then I was just searching it, and then I would search it, and then I would go through, you know, every single card, the cheapest was like 9,000 MT, and I found a way for you to snipe and find cards a lot faster. Now, you're not going to be able to find them you know, as fast as you could last year, but it is going to be faster than going into the auction house right now, right here. And that, of course, is by going to your collection. And for example, I want to get a Kevin Durant, so let's go to current collection. Let's go to the West, and we're going to the Warriors right now. And I think KD's the first one. And so it's going to ask you, do you want to search for the player? And I'm going to say yes. And this right here is the fastest way to like hard scope a certain card. Like if you want to get Kevin Durant, just do it like this. If you want to get Curry, just do it like this. That way it's a lot faster than, you know, typing in Steph Curry or typing in, you know, small forward, uh, point guard, uh, sapphire, stuff like that. So make sure that if you're snapping in the auction house and you're looking for a certain player, just do it like this. Do it through the collection. This can work for, you know, bronzes, silvers, golds, etc. All you have to do is click on the player, search, and then bam, it's already refreshing. 500 for this guy. I'm definitely going to be using this method when I'm going for like collections. Like for example, the Knicks, we get Jeremy Lin. So I'm going to be looking for these cards right away. And the fastest way to do it is of course by doing it like this. And right now, oh, Porzingod. I got to get a Porzingod for uh, the dynamic duo. But this right here is the fastest way to do it. It's a lot faster than, you know, going in the auction house and searching the name or searching, you know, a certain tier. So just go to your collection and then really quickly just search the player. See how fast it is? It's a lot faster then type it in for Zingod. And again, it is a little bit limited because you can't just search like all the Nick players. You do have to go one by one. But it's still faster than doing it in the auction house. For example, again, like right here, we're just gonna search for Zingod right away. You see how long that takes? It doesn't really take that long. It's nice and easy. It's not as fast as it was, you know, last year, but at least it's faster than doing, you know, searching for Zingod in the auction house. You see, because you gotta search it. And then you go through it, then you gotta press circle and it resets and you have to type in Porzingis again. So it's definitely a lot faster, so make sure that you guys use this tip right here if you're gonna be sniping or looking for a certain player that you wanna buy for for super cheap. So make sure that you, uh, you know, you do this as much as you can, you know, go for those collections, snipe those players, get them for super cheap. And that right there is gonna be the video. Hopefully it was helpful, like I'm sure you're gonna be able to snipe some players this year. It might not be as easy as it was last year. But at least it's still something that we can do this year for sniping. And if you guys enjoyed that video and you want to see more, you know what to do. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.